Briefly there, we saw 16-year-old John Giorgio from St. Beads, his first game. Jared Healy's alma mater as we start play here at Moorabbin. Sanderson comes away with the ball, but it's going to be a free kick to the Saints. There's free kick there against Jarman, jumping into the back of Vitovic. Vitovic towards centre-half forward. Wren, Lowe fell over, he'll get another free kick. So they're going down with three kicks at the present time. And Stewie Lowe could be within scoring range. The breeze slightly against him, although almost nothing of it. And what there is is across the ground. He doesn't kick the ball a long way, Dennis, so this could test him if the breeze is slightly against him. And his kicking has improved a lot over the last couple of seasons. Stewie Lowe averaging 11 marks a game and leading the marks. 66 he's taken. He's 15 ahead of Jason Dunstall. He's been magnificent in this early part of the season. I bet curators hate him. He defaces the ground every time he takes a mark, and he takes oh. plenty. There goes the kick. It's offline. It works the pocket and lock it. Sporting the haircut. Might have been a bit of interference there too, uh, Dennis. That left hand on the shoulder of Sean Wren. We were talking about that a couple of weeks ago when uh, players are getting a bit of a lift by using the shoulder of the opponent. And I think he really put that left hand on onto Wren's shoulder. So Lockett. He might have been pretty happy to get away with it by the smile on his face also. Deep in the pocket. He's done a low. Scratched his mark on the ground and will come in directly over that and kick it goal. This for the game's first score. Tony Lockett kicks. It's close. He's missed. Twenty-nine, twenty-three for the season. Yes, his accuracy hasn't all been all that good uh, in this early part of the season. Tony Lockett. Is Anson Kildas first score of the day? Wren marks between half back and centre. Good we'll play on. And the big man is asked to now. He tumbles it towards the middle. The Petter got a touch, but no mark. Here's an opportunity for the Crows through lip tack down towards the pocket area. They've got a couple of uh, key forwards in that region. Hodges being one, and the other one is Rod Jamison, who kicked 49 last year to lead the goal kicking for the Crows. Now that kick going across the face of goal and out of bounds in the left forward pocket. Grant having the job on Jamison today. No one getting anywhere quickly on that occasion, so another bounce. Just 15 metres out from the Crows scoring zone. Crowd has built up pretty well here at Moorabbin. Ideal day for football, overcast. Vitovic tries to hammer it away. Giorgio getting his first touch, which is uh, good for the youngster. Wiedemann's kick is well smothered on the 50-meter line. He goes in after it again. The whistle has sounded. And it will be a St Kilda free kick at half-back. be taken by DePetta. DePetta taking his time out of defense towards the wing. Wren from behind. It falls forward. That's hard. ball up Fletcher showing plenty of courage initially and then Wiedemann as he always does he's at the base of the pack so a bounce just forward of left center wing for these crows who trail by behind overcast day still day clue gets it down Schwert out of the congestion Allen couldn't hang on on his knees did well Giorgio was he held without it not according to the umpire McDermott standing start gains about 35 meters with the kick going back with courage was clue it spills to Morris He's got some time now. This is Harvey. Even his own defensive 50. The Crows have got the numbers. Burke did very well. Got an angle on the punch away to favour Fletcher. Fletcher got it across to support. Ralph Smith feeds it out. Pekin. A little casual from Morris. Back it comes by the Pekin. Now Pekin on the wing. Goes down towards half forward. Kick it. Tripping the light. Fantastic. Up at his tippy toes on the boundary line. Doesn't matter. Across the boundary line. Toes, the ball. Bickley from half back towards centre wing and from the side. Hodges got hands to it, couldn't hang on. Vitovic dragged off it by Jarman. This young man's been busy so far. Giorgio gets it out to Burke. Burke's hand pass. Ralph Smith's got it now. Taken by Fletcher back over the top to Ralph Smith. He runs it down towards left half forward. Goes by Maynard. Settles 55 metres out. And the kick is an absolute shocker and goes to Bickley. 
He comes towards half-back once again. Ben Hart takes the mark. Unsure where to go. He too goes short. Finds Ren. Gathering little distance. They do it again to Maynard. Have to pick up the men. Secure there in the forward line. So Maynard putting the Crows into attack. The peak in the fly. Did well. Plays straight on to Morris. Drop punt in towards the centre. Kick it. Can't get a decent run at the football. And it's Bickley again. Towards half forward, Philke. A chance for the McGarry medalist. From 35 metres, a left footer in towards goal. Touched on the line. Probably Philke had a bit of time there to steady and get onto his right kicking foot. Which Should is have his done right far foot. better, shouldn't he? There were three of them. Three to one up. Certainly. John Klug off the ground very early in the match. Could have some sort of knee problem last week when he was rested in that last quarter. Ross is on the ground. It's Russell Morris to bring it in then. A point apiece. As Morris goes to the outer side, very high kick. Allen, too much pace. Running away from Ross, marks it on his chest. He's at right half back. He kicks down towards centre wing. Fletcher, who's been a valuable acquisition for these Saints, gets it over the top. This is Harvey. Spears the pass into low. Harvey continues to run. Close to the boundary line. In fact, it's Pickin who got the ball. He pulls it back towards the kickoff line. Wren did well, flying over the top, fisting away from Lockett and Hart. Pushes it towards the boundary line where the ball will be thrown in. I think we'll see Wren doing a lot of their defensive work down there, helping out Nigel Smart. And Tony Lockett, just one one on one situation, should win out every time. Wren, a fist away, taken by Bowie. The hand passes towards the boundary. Oh, it's Russell holding the ball, says the umpire. Still just the one behind on the board. Jarman to the half back flank and Schwert. Over the centre, Hodges did well. It's just starting to find some form, Scott Hodges. Kick is not a good one. Russell Morris will be on the end of the hand pass and should tidy up. No, his oh. hand pass is an absolute shocker. The short pass by Ingerson goes back in towards full forward. And the mark has been taken by Brendan Sanderson. A courageous mark there taken by Sanderson, going back with the flight of the ball. Very sloppy defensive play there by Russell Morris. He had the chance to get that hand pass out on that first occasion. He messed around a lot. Here's that mark again. A lot of courage shown by both players there, running back with the flight of the ball. Grant also. Sanderson just 25 metres out. The chance for the Crows first, and to give them a lead of five points. Drop punt at goal. Looks pretty good. So he gets his and the Crows' first goal, and they lead by five points. Yeah, so Kilda looked as if they were running the ball very easily out of defence there, with uh, no pressure really on Russell Morris, had he been able to get rid of that first hand pass. Good hand pass here by Tim Peake, and a 30-metre hand pass. Russell Morris had plenty of time, decided to take on a few players, and then I don't really think he got his fist to the ball properly when he tried to handball long. Play restarts. Vitovic was up, couldn't control the ball. Out of the middle, Jarman towards half forward. Hodges, quick hands away to Filky. He was looking back when he should have been looking forward. This is Hodges, down he goes. Away comes Allen. He's on the wing and he boots it down towards half forward. Kick it in this situation. Oh! Loves it. <laughs> that was Taylor made for him. What a magnificent mark. Superb effort. I didn't like that. After. Yeah, so often you see that. Adrenaline is still pumping. Filke pops it over the top. Sanderson's got it. To Bickley. Forward of the wing, Bickley. Giorgio arrived two steps late. It was a token gesture, though, I think. The bump meantime on the forward line. Jamison slaps it out. Sanderson left it behind. Still time to go back and redeem the situation. McDermott from 60 metres out. Now towards full forward. Ingerson in front. It clears he and his marker, Shanahan, and bounces through for a minor score. I'll tell you what, Sandy, if we see a better mark than this one, Dale Kickets, look at that. Today I'll be amazed because that was a terrific mark. And there won't be many better marks for the season than that. And they just unfortunately couldn't finish it off. But it will be Morris to bring it back into play. Crows scoring their second behind. Newport tucked in the back pocket to the Petter. 
Again, the kicking is not good. It certainly hasn't been a feature so far in this game. Wren, the big man looking for an option, finds Wiedemann. Just chipping it on that 50 metre line. Tony McGuinness will have a running shot at goal. It's a good looking kick, too, by McGuinness. There's the second of the crimes. Well, it's a very good start by Adelaide. They've uh, shocked St Kilda. Maybe St Kilda thinking that uh, this could have been an easy game after their two big victories last year. They also won by 51 points when they played the Crows in Adelaide. A total of uh, 180 points they won by last year. But I think this is a different Crows side. They've had that year's experience. And it certainly won't be an easy game for St Kilda. Excellent start by the Crows. Litovic stands under it. Wren comes over the top. Litovic tries to get it out. Towards the half forward line. The Crows doing the bulk of the attack in these last few minutes. The hand pass going over the top was from Liptak. Morris going close to the boundary line. McDermott on his hammer and so too is Scotty Hodges. The ball beats them over the line. The important thing at the moment, uh, Danny Frawley there on screen out with a hamstring or a groin injury, one or the other. He's uh, had a couple of problems this season. Filthy. Again, putting boot to ball very, very quickly. Not a pretty looking kick, but it's effective. The hand pass has shot out the snap by Schwert. It's close, but just offline. Behind. The player I've been very impressed with, Sean Wren, a mobile ruckman who's doing well in the centre of the ground against Vitovic. And Adelaide have been uh, getting first use of the ball in this early part of the match, which is so very important. Crows led it by 14 points. Morris kicking in, members side, favours Ingerson with a kick, up he goes, and at the second attempt claims the mark. Terrible kick in, always going to be this man's. Ingerson, centering kick, falling in short, Olsen killed it, missed by Grant, that's unusual, picked up by Newport, dragged off it, McGuinness goes off the ground, that is a magnificent attempt, but missed by a metre. There's a whistle though, it's coming back, and the kick will be taken by Steve Newport. Taken high, I fancy. Interesting, the Crows are starting much better this season. Last year, they averaged 41 points in the first half of their matches. This season, that's up to 65. In percentage terms, that's a huge improvement. Close to the boundary line, Ralph Smith claimed, hits the hand pass off. This is Fletcher, draws a man, sold the petter into trouble. He did pretty well. Ralph Smith in open space. Newport over the ball, surrounded. Back off to Fletcher. That wasn't very productive football. Kick it. Tried to knock it across to support, found support. Out it comes wide, the win mark from Giorgio, not a good kick. As a result, Lee went off the ground. This is Jarman, who got up off the ground. Back to Lee, he's on the wing. He boots it down, spirals it down towards the boundary line at right half forward. It bounces out, and we'll have a throw in. Two, three, to a behind. Yes, St Kilda's disposal at this stage, Dennis, has been pathetic. A uh, chance there again for Winmar to get the ball on quickly to lock it, and again mess it up. Crows applying a ton of early pressure, however. Free kick out of that ruck deal from the throwing. Going the way of Vitovic. The big man has a look down the ground. Floats a kick in the region of Stuart Lowe. There's some holding on going on there against the Crows. No one knows whose it is. Stuart Lowe thought it was his. Come back to Ralph Smith. Sean Ralph Smith to take it. Into a rent territory. He's at half back, just dropping back there. And another bounce. And a lightning start by the Crows. They lead by 14 points. Tony Loggan having kicked the Saints only behind. Burn. Sandwiched. All it spills free. Low from a standing start. Partly smothered it by McGuinness, Bickley, and McGuinness again. And a very Sets clever kick, line. very clever kick there by McGuinness, he was under a lot of pressure. This is one area of the Adelaide game that has picked up the defensive side of the game. Very good attacking side last year, but they've certainly brought a lot of defence into their game this year. Littlewick and Wren will be at it all day. Bowie ripped off the football, Wren have been a little too enthusiastic with the tackle. Wants Lockett. Again, Wren getting back there. He's able to do the job. Bickley. A high kick. Vitovic over the top. Can't take the mark. McGuinness. Twisted out of trouble. Clue gets a shocking bounce. Morris at the back. 
back in towards Harvey. Bounces very kindly for him. Giorgio off to Nathan Burke. They can go long, but again, the kick is wide. It's not good. Lockett and Smart. Oh. Just outside 50. Ralph Smith loses sight of it. Low over the football. The Crows have the numbers. Jarman it is who brings it away. Towards centre wing. Allen at the back over Runter. Trying to get through his lip tack. But it's Morris who tidies up for the Saints. The Saints working overtime at the present time. This is Fletcher. Hard against the boundary line. Good way through this opening term. And the Crows lead by 14 points. Maynard hooks it behind to Wren. Bickley, who can run, goes right across half back. Boots it towards Harford. Lip tack is in front. Almost a clever mark. Recovers well, but the Saints have got the numbers. Pekin. De Petter is dragged down. Klug, sweeping hand pass. Filke inside the 50. Shrugs a tackle. McGinnis on his left foot. Here's trouble. It's a goal. His second terrific play. That man on his left side is dynamite. 3-3 three, three to a behind. There's terrific run there from uh, Tony McGinnis. He knew that uh, Grant Filke was in strife. He was in a lot of trouble. Had been tackled, evaded one tackle. A bit of a throw there from DePetto. Might have been lucky to get away with that. His Filky, under a bit of pressure, managed to regain his feet and doing the. He just knows how to get away from a tag at Tony McGuinness. Steve Newport caught with the job on him. He just kept running and running. Two goals to Tony McGuinness as the Crows storm to a 20 point lead. Midway during this first quarter. It's very pro. Saints crowd somewhat stunned as Filthy will send the Crows down and towards full forward once again. Anderson out on the lead takes that up. There's magnificent pass there by Grant Filthy. And Anderson, of course, favoured. He is a left footer, so this is the right angle for a left footer to be kicking a goal. A pass again, right on the chest, lace out. He has a bad habit, though, of turning his back. Jared Hilly, I think, made the point a couple of weeks ago in the Richmond game, and then Wiedemann was on. Anderson just drifting it. Good. Drifting away to the right, but it did sneak home. And the Crows lead by 26 points. 4-3, the one behind. So it was very close, wasn't it, in the end? That kick from Ingerson. Uh, it certainly looked from this angle that it may have even missed. But Sean Wren again doing very well in the centre of the ground. And then following it up, getting that knock on. And Filthy on the end of that hand pass. A magnificent play by the Crows, doing very well around the centre of the ground. Vitovic again. 27 plays one. Vitovic tries to pluck it out of the air, but he can't do so. Wren offering stiff opposition. And another bounce. Still virtually in the middle. Well, as Dennis said in the opening, this is a very critical game for the Crows. They've got a tough road ahead in the next month. Nice bounce for Wren. Ralph Smith goes in over the top. Can't get out. Saints supporters already under tremendous stress. Good of it to send them forward. Towards Stuart Lowe, out in front. Big arms. Interesting where he's starting off at the uh, centre bounce stand. He's about 15 metres in front of Tony Lockett. Not playing the usual centre half forward role, which is right up the ground. Here's that replay again. Once Stewie lays out in front, he had his name written all over that one. Never in danger of losing it, Mark. Going to be kicking from just inside 50. Going to be very close. I think he's made it. The first for the Saints. It's still close first. 1 1 plays 4 3. It's been a long, long time coming for some quarter, 20 minutes into that first quarter. But looking at the windsock, they may be kicking slightly into the breeze. Uh, the wind could be. I feel favouring Adelaide just slightly. As we look at that kick again, a good kick from about 45 metres out. He had a kick from a similar distance early in the match and fluffed it completely, but much better effort that time. St Kilda working forward out of the centre. This is Bowie. Back to goal initially. Pulls it back across his body. Maynard goes back and takes a good mark. 
Deep in his own defensive area, across the ground. Wiedemann has it. Up from the back pocket, 4-3 to 1-1. Filke, at centre half back, across the ground, setting Lee a task. This will be interesting. Lee and Burke striding out. He pushes it through the wing, Lee. Still he goes down towards right half board. Well played, Scott Lee. It's a kick, a hurried one, and gains another 15 metres. It runs out of bounds and will be thrown in just outside the attacking 50 for the Crows. It's great effort there by Scott Lee. He looked to be in uh, some sort of danger at the start. A dangerous kick across ground by Filkey, but uh, Lee was up to the task. Umpires today, Trevor Garrett and Chris Mitchell. Garrett from Western Australia. Well behind. Filkey's got it, taken high, surely. And it will be a free. Umpire Mitchell coming in quickly. So far, they've scored the fight in terms of free kicks for the Saints, 8-3. to three. No doubting that one. No doubt, Dennis. Filkey goes in short. Engerson on the lead. Fingertips to it. Couldn't hang on. Sanderson hard against the boundary line. Timely push. Wins the free kick. Well, there was a push though. It looked very much as if he was pushed right in the middle of the back. Oh, I thought it was in the shoulder. That was... What do you think, Sandy? Eyebrows <laughs> raised. Decide. with Bernie, I think. Thank you, Sandy. Shanahan oh, just a push in there, Shanahan again. Across half back towards the other side. And his knees Harvey. Claimed by Schwert holding the ball, says the umpire. Good Schwert decision. The three. That is a good decision. He let it go. He was over the top of the ball and just let it go underneath him. Schwert, long kick inside the 50. They'll contest about 25 metres out. The Saints have the numbers. The pack almost had the ball. Reaches back. Wakes it in, then disputes it with, I think it's Allen down there. We've got a whistle. And there'll be a bounce about 10 metres out. So 4-3 to 1-1. Almost in the square. Sanderson a high kick. Hodges was there. Pulling it back, but without success. It was Matthew Liptak. Another behind. 4-4. Four, four. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. Russell Morris to bring it back into play. Ooh. It just stuck for Robert Harvey. Throw of anguish from Bernie, but it was OK. In towards the middle. Georgia. Off to Harvey. Burke trying to run through the centre. He gets clear. Low again is the target. He's too good. He's too tall for Maynard. That's the problem there for, what, for Maynard. He's just lack of inches going to tell against him. Lock it with Ren over the back. The big crow tried to mark it. Couldn't do so. Kick it's at the bottom. Smart is in there. The lock it comes through strongly. The ball has gone through the one behind. And took the pack with him, Sandy. About eight players moved when Lockett came through there. Strong man. That's a good sign for the Crows, though. Lee standing his ground. Hard it was, and kicked it back into play. Could be very costly. Winmar takes the hand pass, flicks it back in towards Lee territory, and he marks safely for the Crows. The ball did appear to hold up there on that occasion, Sandy, coming into that uh, 10 metre square. He's going to have to go back. points the margin favoring the Adelaide Crows for their first win against St Kilda almost the mark to Maynard he recovers well off to McDermott McDermott again the advantage is going to be paid there was a tackle too high as Filky gets a kick down towards Scott Hodges can't quite take it on the half volley out to Jarman he goes clever football but it's Morris who intercepts back to Newport Georgia's got a bit of room. He's got a ton of room. Has a look up towards Lockett. Not a good kick. Maynard is there. Bowing. Land will be free kick. Yeah, no doubt. That yeah, like player's very disappointed with the decision, but uh, no doubt about that. He was about to have that shot at goal. Let's have a look at that again. He did duck initially. I think the some Kilda fans thought he may have deserved a free kick for that, but uh, he did duck into that tackle. And then grabbed by the lead. So Brett Bowie directly in front. 
25 metres out for the Saints second. His first. St Kilda second, 2-2, two, two, but they trail Adelaide and double their score, 4-4. Four, four. It's good play by the young bloke on the wing, and that, uh, of course, is Giorgio. We'll see that legging again in replay by Scott Lee. Maybe Scott Lee thought it was a, across the thigh where he grabbed him. But, uh, well, I think it's, it's not a free kick. If it is above the knee, you can tackle around the thigh. Margin is 14 points. McDermott. Off and it falls back towards him. Now we're in there, a wise smile, and we've got a whistle alongside the centre circle. That's McDermott, drafted by the Brisbane Bears back in '87, as was Andrew Jarman. One down by Vitovic. Burke to the advantage of Bowie on his knees, did well. Newport over the top to release Burke. Brilliant spin turn carries him down towards right half forward. Fletcher left it behind, knocked away brilliantly by Lee, who got it to Hart. Wren in turn gets it to Filky, who's taken high, no free kick, advantage is played if there was. Sanderson comes away, ran into a dead end, Jarman too slow, run down by Pekin. Winmark quick hands away to Harvey. Harvey quickly too gets it to Giorgio, back through the middle to Allen. Allen runs to centre half forward, probing kick lock, it should mark this. Smart never had a chance. Now, Tony Lock this. As soon as he saw that Allen had the ball, he was still in the square and waved for Allen to go long. And that's exactly what he did. He was in beautiful position to take that mark. Nigel Smart would have had the feeling there like somebody is going to back into you in the parking area. He fell helpless. He knew he was a sitting duck for Lockett over the top that time. Lockett duly took the mark and this to narrow the margin to eight points. his first 28 plays 20 and that's Tony Lockett's 30th goal for the season supporting a new haircut today Tony Lockett we have a look at this mark again well, I messed that up I had the advantage there in the center of the ground had the free kick played on advantage was played was called but here's that long probing kick from Allen Tony Lockett just had the sit and Nigel Smart no chance whatsoever Margin back to eight points inside three minutes of the first quarter. Harvey dashes through the pack. Just pokes it out wide, giving Giorgio a run. Well done by Lee. He beats him. Tackled late by Winmar, but it's Clue towards Ingerson. That was the player he wanted. But the Saints are able to get out of trouble. Allen from half back towards Newport on the wing. With him is McGuinness, wearing him like a glove. And he sees it over the line while behind play. And so I don't think Scott Lee was too happy with the attention from Nicky Winmar after he got rid of that ball just in front of the uh, grandstand here. Play goes on. Allen tries to get it out. Fletcher back to Allen again. Range 25 metres off to Newport. Now Burke, and he can't control it with Jarman on his hammer. And so another throw. Four four. The Crows killed a three two. Bowie pushed, said the umpire. But Bowie playing his 50th game today as he gets it off to Nathan Burke towards low at half forward. Had to beat three, couldn't do so. Fletcher tries to get it out back again to low. He has a look up towards Lockett territory. Smarts there with him. Lockett couldn't take it. The umpire's gone to ground. Saying it wasn't a mark, and I agree. It was, it was not a mark. Tony Lockett gets his hands to it, no doubt. Ooh, play on, maybe. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure of that one. Dennis, what do you think? I'm not sure either. <laughs> well, the bottom line is that he's got it. He's got the mark anyway. He's going for his second. He did seem to have a firm grasp on that, having a look at the yeah. replay. And this to make the margin two points. The 
Michael Bentley in front, 15 metres out, and he's kicked. 688 goals now in the career of Tony Lockett for the Saints. As they peg back this 20-point lead, it's now just two. If we just have a look at that mark again, Sandy. And replay, the kick coming from Stewie Lowe. Long kick, one on one. On one. That run-out situation is really worrying for uh, from Smart. The umpire slipping, but I think he did have that initial grasp on the ball that you often do see those marks paid. A split second later, it's forced out of their hand. 4-4-4-2, four, four four probably the more debatable thing in that build-up may have been the free-kick to Bowie on the other side, which was pretty soft. As Wren tries to hand-pass through the pack there, very ambitiously. Hart boots it down towards half-forward. Jamison coming out from goal, dragged off it. In goes Morris, in trouble. Down he goes. Jamison applied a good tackle. Winmar's hand-pass not particularly good. De Petta stood his way, but gets it away. Sanderson in the dying seconds of the term boots it goalward. I think he's missed been a handy one on the siren it's a behind so checking the scores at quarter time in our game of the day from the rabbit it's Adelaide 4-5 winning the Saints by three points they're 4-2 Second term underway at Narabin. 4-5 plays 4-2. Adelaide, who kicked the first three goals of the game. Wren gets it down. Fletcher fell over. De Petter crashes into the pack. And a whistle. So bounce alongside the centre circle. It's a grey day in Melbourne. The breeze has backed around a little. Favouring the Saints in this term. Bit of it. Favoured by the bounce. Fists it away. Well done, too. Got it away to Bowie, who boots it long inside the 50, and Lowe goes back and takes a very strong mark. Well, a sense of deja vu, certainly for the Crows and for Sandy and myself, because we saw St Kilda play their most powerful football three weeks ago in the first term against the Hawks. They kicked over 50 points in that quarter. And instrumental in all of that is Lowe and Lockett. And again now, those signs starting to emerge, and you wonder whether the Crows have the personnel if the confidence levels rise of Lowe and Lockett, to be able to hold them in check. It is all about supply, and they're getting it out of the centre now, the Saints. So Stewie Lowe, deliberately, from about 30 metres out, starts at left, it stays left. Minor score. So the margin pulled back to two points now. Stuart Lowe averaging 11 marks a game already. He's taken four today. On a start by the big half forward. Ralph Smith, a little bit late on the scene, and Ben Hart has the football on half back. <laughs> Kicking up towards the centre. He was looking towards Wren or Hodges, both there, but neither able to take the football. Wren had it for a moment, then lost it. Now Hodges does the shepherding work in front of the small scoreboard here at Moorabbin. Lip tack. Still going. Off to Maynard. Loses it. De Petta gets the hand pass away to Morris. Now Allen, who was caught flat-footed. Vitovic bowing. Bang. Runs into Filky and must lose it. Nineteen eighty five McGarry medalist Grant Filkey Going short finding Sanderson inside 50 Hodges the fly couldn't take the mark it's going to be a free kick for a push though going the way of the Crows with the Petter going straight into the back and so Rodney Maynard will have a shot from just on 50 Rodney Maynard, Maynard playing centre-half back, and we saw this last week running up and having a couple of shots at goal. Just outside 50, Shanahan flew, couldn't take the mark. Almost thrown out to Liptak. 
and about 15 metres out. But it looks as though uh, Maynard has been moved from centre half back. I think it might be Ingerson now picking up Stuart Lowe. Here's the bounce then. Not very high. Klug trying to direct it down. Bowie has it slapped away by McGuinness. McDermott disputing strongly. Comes up with the ball and will have a bounce just inside the attacking 50 now for the Crows. That's not a bad move, I think, Dennis, too, with the Ingerson centre half back. Much more even in height. Maynard was giving away five centimetres. Ingerson only one centimetre shorter than Stewie Lowe. And Ingerson can jump. He's got good spring. So boundary throw in just outside the 50 now. Ingerson and Lowe. And Klug and Vitovic. Trying to crash his way through Sanderson. Vitovic on tidy handball. Jamison held a long time in the tackle. Vitovic got it out towards Bowie. Likewise held a long time. Jarman eventually. Klug close to the boundary line. Centering kick. Allen did well. And Red Hodges has been very quiet to the ball. Allen. From half back towards the wing, storming up the ground. Ralph Smith couldn't hang on, finds it on the ground. Strong tackle, McDermott got him front on, should have been holding the ball. And then there was a push in the back to Pekin, and he'll get the free kick. Yes, I'm with you, Dennis. That should have been a free kick. A magnificent tackle by Adelaide there. And he had a chance to get rid of the ball. He took his chances, tried to dodge around the player, and was tackled, and then lost it. So it should have been a free. Hang on is the call. Interesting pass, Shanahan. Comes members side with a kick and Morris. So they gained very little in terms of position. Now Kirk sold into trouble. Met solidly by Filky. Hodges went the man and knocked the ball and pays the price. That's a fortune there for Russell Morris. Burke into the centre. Vitovic goes back to the runner. They've got the loose players now. Fletcher tucks it under his arm. Heads towards half forward. Wren gets a hand over. That's all. Lock it with strength. He shrugged a couple of tackles. Gives it back to Fletcher from 40 metres out. Shoots it towards goal and finishes it off. The strength of Lock. There's Big Tony. He's unstoppable. He's such a big man. A lot of people are critical of him being overweight. There's a kick from Fletcher, getting away from Jarman on a couple of occasions. Tony Lockett takes position. No one can stop him. McDermott and, and uh, Smart were hanging off him. He just continued on his merry way, got the hand pass out. Fletcher following up, finished it off with a good goal. The Saints by four points. McDermott tries to get the hand all away. Bickley under pressure finds Jarman. A lead. Saints have made a change. Devonport has come onto the ground, replacing the Pettery. He may just about get his first touch here. Newport. It is. He gets them out of trouble, but only momentarily. Straight down the throat of Sean Reed. The Crows have made a change too. Ross is on the ground and Klug is off. And Klug wasn't too happy about coming off. Here's McGuinness. Down towards half forward. Whip tack up in front. Covers well, does brilliantly. Gets it across to Lee. And boots it down towards the attacking 50. Allen. Be holding the ball. Oh, that's free kick. This is the umpire. Well, that's a strange one, Dennis. Free kicks well in favour of uh, St Kilda. 14 to 6. On the outer side, Giorgio centres it. Low. Too good in the air. Brilliantly done to Burke. Who ended as he kicked into the path of Bowie. And or this man kick it. Kick it to Renmar. Renmar 20 metres out, stabs it forward and puts it through. That's his first goal. And the Saints now have kicked six of the last seven goals in this game. They lead six through to four five. And what a frightening sight that must have been with Tony Lockett charging out. Stewie Lowe starting to control the airspace around centre half forward. Here's Tony Lockett on the charge. We just saw him charge through. Adelaide player wasn't hit full on. Who was that? Bickley, Sandy, who was uh, the player that was nearly carried off on a stretch, I'd say, had they really met hard. Ten points the margin, favouring the Saints. McDermott to McGuinness, the skipper and vice captain combined. Put the Crows down towards half forward and Matthew Liptak. Saints are pouring on the pressure now. Devonport just onto the ground applies a very good tackle. Here's an opportunity for Pilkey running in towards the open goal, but he's tugged it right. Four 
champion now experiencing uh, the trials and tribulations of coaching in the VFA. Trevor Barker looks on. Russell Morris brings it back into play. Lovely kick. Allen over the top of Jarman. Plays on. There's very wide to Fletcher who's picking up kicks at will. To the half forward line. Danger here again for the Crows. Low. Beautifully on the half volley. He's on the 50 metre line. Can he get round? No, he can't. Gets his kick over, and Ritmar takes the mark in the pocket. Well, things starting to flow St Kilda's way at the moment after the initial 20-minute burst from the Adelaide Crows. And St Kilda well on top, 10 minutes into the second term, and doing all the attacking. Ritmar for his second. He's kicked 173 goals in his career for the Saints to date. better out of the centre of the ground at the moment. Look at this mark. Again, a good throw, just Mark Stewie low. Looked as if he'd got around Ingerson, but Ingerson did well drag him and as he kicked it. There's Winmar running with the flight of the ball. Another good throw, just Mark. There's a kicking style of Nicky Winmar. Throwing right through the middle from about 35 metres. Graham Corns. And happy camper at the present time. Back in the middle, Ralph Smith. Going in pretty solidly. Players at both sides. And I think we'll have a whistle and a ball up. Present time, the Crows breaking down hopelessly across their half forward line. Sanderson at the base of that pack. But the half forward line at the moment has Ross at centre half forward flanked by Liptak and Hodges. And really, Liptak, the only man of that trio, touching the ball. Wren gets it down. McDermott. Hodges in front, twisted away by Allen. Trying to crash his way through was Harvey. Taken by Newport to Winmar. Across it comes to Devonport. Across his body towards the ring. Bowery, so they initiate yet another attack from across their own half-back line. But Fletcher manages play. Fletcher boots it to half for Vidovic. And Vidovic will be about, I suppose, 35 metres out from goal. He'll kick from on the 50. Number nine, Lazar Vidovic. I wouldn't be fancying his chances all that much. Uh, Dennis has never kicked a goal in his AFL career. Well, so maybe, nice. maybe we'll be seeing it first. He'll be about to charge. He's number nine, and number one with distinction by Ian Sinman, John McIntosh, and Val Perovic. He kicks from about 48 metres out. He's off to the left hand side. The big leaper down there from behind was Lockett. There's a whistle, and Lockett infringed. And the kick will be taken by Smart. Smart alongside the behind post, boots it out very wide at the top. Pekin crashed into the pack. Georgia able to work his way in front, and he's going to get a free kick for being held without it, I think. Yes, against German. Giorgio close to the boundary line, down towards Lockett. Good intelligent kick, favoured the leading player with the kick, just drifting it towards the line. And once that body got between Smart and the ball, it was always going to be tough. No way of getting around this big body. That's Tony Lockett's out in front. He's very quick for a big man over that first 10 metres. Applause for Frankie Coughlin, who's playing his 100th game as he comes onto the ground. Replacing Sean Ralph Smith. Here's Coughlin. No one tries harder. But Tony Lockett is kicking at his third goal. Tucked away in the left full forward pocket. This to increase the lead to 21 points. And already it's starting to get out of reach as far as the Crows are concerned. Lock it. That's close. That's very good. Eight three plays four six. Yes, and the Saints really doing well from around the middle of the ground, as we said uh, in the first quarter. When it was con the ruck was controlled by Wren. Let's have a look at this in replay with Tony Lockett out on the lead. Smart hasn't played him too badly so far. He's done a reasonable job, but St Kilda, as I said, with Vitovic starting to do well in the ruck, controlling it around the centre. The Saints by 21 points. 
halfway mark of the second quarter. Huge round of applause for Frankie Coughlin. As he gets his first kicks, it's coming onto the ground. And as far as half forward, where Ben Hart holds that attack. Could go short to Wiedemann, but elects to go towards the wing. And coming over, taking a good mark is Jonathan Ross. Ross, whose father played 10 games with the Saints back in 1959. Leicester went on to play for Norwood. Fletcher to Pekin. Newport. Danger lurking again for Adelaide towards Lockett. The big man flies. He gave a push. It went unnoticed. Wiedemann is claimed. The ball spills free. Coglin battling hard at the bottom of the pack. And eventually the umpire comes in and decides belatedly upon a bounce. I think the whistle could have blown a couple of times there, Bernie. A big push in the back from Tony Lockett initially on uh, Nigel Smart. And a very dicey hand passes there too, given. 30 metres out from the Saints' scoring zone. Newport got it across. But it was McDermott who stole it. Harvey inside 50. May run out of room. It's Bickley who sees it over the line. Twenty-one points the margin. Wren battling for it. Fletcher gets a kick round his body, and ten or fifteen metres, and again goes over the line. Seven kicks and six hand passes. There's Fletcher on top at the moment. Only four and three to Jarman. Clue tried and tried to get a kick. It was unsuccessful. Jarman need to have one hand held. Bickley and Winmar go over the line. A little bit of a stalemate on the Saints' right half forward flank area with another throw in. Vitovic drifting across in front of Wren to do the ruck work. Wren has the height advantage. McDermott pumps one back towards the middle. And the mark is taken by Rod Jamison. He's across the half forward line now. Hodges has gone back, I think, to full forward. Held without the ball, Shanahan must get a free kick for the Saints and plays on immediately. And the truce in a half back position, he boots it towards half forward. Bit of it uncontested. So we're falling into place for the Saints, although that was a poor kick. It ricocheted off when it came to Grant. Now kick it, surrounded. Gives it back to Bit of it. Dragged down by Jamison, but not before he kicked it. Good, courageous mark by Sanderson. Plays on to McDermott. Look out. Down he goes, puts it towards the outer side. Lockett was closing on him. Well done by Burke. Giorgio, well played. Pekin, back to Burke, measures the next one, gets it out wide, taken by Winmar, back into the path of Giorgio. An unkind pass. Oh! Wow, somebody went through there. That was Winmar. Around the outer side goes Smart. The pitcher's just inside the field of play. Maynard looking for Lee. No concessions made there. Almost thrown out by Morris. Taken by Harvey. Clever handball. Sends Pekin away. Forward at the wing. He goes looking for Lowe. Strong hands. Run out down in the square is Lock and he'll move it quickly. No, instead he goes short. Coughlin. Good thinking by Lowe. Yes, that's with the concentration on uh, big Tony Lockett. Sean Wren was getting back there to cover Lockett and the lead. Plenty of opportunities for other players, the midfielders and on-ballers to get into that position. And also the Ruckman, if Vitovic goes down there, because uh, Wren is concentrating only on Lowe and Lockett trying to cut off their supply. So if the midfielders get down there, there's plenty of opportunities to receive passes. If he kicks a goal, the margin will be 27 points. He's directly in front. Frank Coughlin gets the goal. Five goal quarter by St Kilda. They're doing it very easily, and yet the Adelaide Crows they were four goals five at quarter time. They've only been able to add one behind to their score. Just as uh, Dennis Committee said, they have got nothing across the half forward line. John Kluge off the ground, not doing very well at all. Hodges has virtually only had one or two kicks. 27 points the margin. The Saints go down towards kick it on the 50 metre line. Lee gets him. Wiedemann gives him support. Lowe's on his hammer. Kick it drifts in and picks it up beautifully. 
Kicks back in towards full forward. Smart coming out in front of Locke. Takes the mark on defence. And this defence has got plenty in the last one and a half quarters. Smart again going to the outer side. Peek a big fly. He's been a very valuable player since coming to Moorabbin. That's a good pick-up. This is uh, a discard from Fitzroy, Tim Pekin. In towards full forward, Lockett well behind Sean Wren, who placed himself in front. Lee eventually gets the kick back towards McDermott. From half-back, goes towards the centre wing. Grant battling hard. Beaten for it, but it's Newport who steals it. Morris and a free kick going away of Tony McGuinness. To half forward, Shanahan. With him was Ross. And over the line. And the Crows right half forward flank. And that's where it's going to remain for the moment. Ross will go back and do the ruck work once again. Inside eight minutes of this first half here at Moorabbin. The home side at the moment in control after a lightning opening by the Adelaide Crows. Free kick going the way of uh, Brendan Sanderson. Kicked a goal in the first quarter. Goes towards the 15-metre line and Matthew Liptak. Centering kick, he wants Jarman. Didn't find him. Shanahan at the back. Tidies up. Brett Bowie gets those little legs pumping. Away he goes. Or does he? No, he doesn't. And Widmark can't pick it up on the half volley. Opportunity for Ben Hart. Harvey courageously stands his ground and takes the mark. Devon has got it now. He's on the wing. He touches it down once. He learnt the lesson from Bowie just moments before. Morris back to Devonport. How much percentage in that? Eventually, wobbles a kick in towards half court. Fletcher dropped the mark, recovers pretty well. Robbed of the ball there by McGuinness, who storms away. He's forward at the wing now. He goes looking for Hodges on the lead. Got his hands to it, couldn't hang on. Ricochets off Grant. Now he's got the time to go back and recover. Pekin's on for the kick out. And he's got it at right half back. Pekin goes in short. Good. The defensive side of the wing, but that changes as he runs the ball through the wing towards half forward. Still he goes, Burke, this is too easy. Burke inside the 50, out comes Lockett, couldn't hang on. Wiedemann did very well, he stood there against the oncoming express, but conceded the free kick. There's two of the strong men of football there, Wiedemann, a real strong man for, the, for Adelaide in defence. There's a replay again, Tony Lockett charging out. He didn't have possession of the ball, the free kick had to be paid. Wiedemann just hanging on, he wasn't aware that the ball had spilled free. Yeah, maybe the hip and shoulder there from Wiedemann. May have been better value. Better him than me. <laughs> <laughs> well said, Dennis. It would want to work, wouldn't it? <laughs> Lock it. He's kicked three, slides it across the face. Out of bounds on the full, was it? No, against the behind post, so it will be thrown in down there. Deep in St. Kilda's attacking zone. They've kicked nine of the last ten goals in this game. Still in the pocket. Giorgio does well to Fletcher. Forced onto the left foot. Centering kick, Winmay. The thing's just falling into place now for the Saints. It's been last kick, two goals this quarter. And just some of the luck that comes into football. Winmay just in the right place. Directly in front. With his sixth kick. Just snuck it home. Three goals to Nicky Wittmar, all in this quarter, and the Saints 10-3 lead the Crows 4-6. It's a big quarter by St Kilda. At quarter time, they were four goals, two, they're now ten goals, three, so six goals, one for the quarter. And Adelaide's struggling, they've only been able to manage that one behind. And uh, on too many occasions, it seems too easy, St Kilda running the ball without any Crows opponents getting anywhere near them. Just under five minutes till half time. And St Kilda out now by 33 points. Wren gets it down. Harvey had it, then lost it. McDermott 
Battling hard. Coglin. Too hard doers there. And there'll be a ball up. Umpire Garrett. Alongside the centre circle. And Adelaide have stopped remarkably in this term. Vitovic did well, used his body intelligently. Winmar nicely. Knocking it away from Bickley. This is Pilkey. High up and under. McGuinness will need to go here. Art number. He works it towards the boundary line. Can't keep it in. Crashes into the fence on the slide. And the ball will be thrown in on the wing. It's Tony McGuinness hitting the fence well. Not too hard. Not as hard as uh, we saw the Strooper hit the fence last week up in Sydney. Fletcher. Couldn't control it. Hart going the other way did well. Schwert gets it away. This is Maynard. Forward at the wing. Probing kick inside the 50. Almost the clever mark to Jamison. Picked up by Hodges. Down he goes. Could do nothing with it. Morris comes away. Tumbles a kick towards half forward. Wiedemann's in front. Through his hands. Will Adelaide behind. Wren to McDermott. Who runs through the middle. Kicks inside the attacking 50. Up goes Jarman and takes a very clever mark. Quite charming. That's his first mark for the match. He's only had uh, four kicks and three handballs. Crows badly wanting a goal. Just the one behind for the quarter. They've got the opportunity now through Rod Jamison. There's another player who's been very quiet also, Jamison. He's only had uh, three possessions, one kick and two hand passes. He's going to be kicking from 35 metres. for the Crows. It's a pretty good-looking kick. It's a goal. So Jamison gets his first and the Crows first for the quarter. 10-3 plays 5-6. They've been able to cover the dangerous Adelaide forwards very well, St Kilda, with Tim Allen playing on uh, Scott Hodges. Doing a rather surprising move. David Grant picking up Jamison. Of course, Klug's off the ground. Maynard's now playing at centre-half forward. He started off at centre-half back. And Jarman also playing across that half-forward line. And Shanahan doing well on Ross. 63 plays 36. Crows wanting at least another one before half time if they're going to really challenge in this match. It's Pekin who gets the sweeping hand pass out towards Fletcher. Somehow gets out of trouble. Wanted kick it. He's found him, but he's uh, in all sorts of bother there at the bottom of that pack. At half forward, a bit of it winning it. Bickley couldn't take it on the half ball. Eventually comes out the back door to McDermott. Ross in front of the pack couldn't take the mark. Burke and Morris combined. Low the flyer. Recovered magnificently and then hammered it out the back door. Frank Coughlin wants to kick it. Lane is back. Price says no. Maybe fortunate, very uh, crude tackle there by Ingerson. Wren to McDermott. Skipper spins out of trouble and gives it to Lee, who goes to the outer side. Filky. Still pretty quick in his prime, he was like lightning. Throw in on the outer side. Just a couple of minutes remaining, under that, in fact for this first half. Stewie Low, knock on the leg there. Slight limp. McGuinness, bundled off it well by Burke. Look at the desperation in there. Coglin comes away with it. Giorgio could have been pushed in the back. Wiedemann. Sanderson on his knees, knocked it forward by about five metres and comes again. Well done. Jarman. Feeds McDermott, close to the boundary line. He boots it down towards half forward. Shanahan knocked away by Maynard. Shanahan, the quickest to recover, goes towards the boundary line. Was held without it. Morris gains about 20 metres with a hand pass. He's got it well trained. It trickles out of bounds and will be thrown in on the other side. 10-3 to 5-6, approaching half time at Moravan. Adelaide led it quarter time by three points. Vitovic, Coglin trying to knock it on to accommodate Burke. Sliding in there was McDermott. Be a bounce. Frustrating afternoon for that man, the skipper. Seen his side surrender what was 
a good early lead, but no fault of his. 17 possessions for McDermott so far. Bowie, McDermott again. Well, he's leading very much by example. Few are following. No more action. The half time siren and St Kilda have picked six goals in that term. They've gone along to 10 3, Adelaide a 5 6. And certainly Adelaide's problems right across the ground, but their half forward line didn't give a yelp in that term. As we start the second half, neither Ruckman touching the ball there. Down goes McDermott in the grasp. Ralph Smith got him. And the ball up. Well, McDermott knocks up, getting the ball close into the packs. Tough way to make a living. Vitovic slaps it down, tries to go off the ground. Bowie dives in. And guess who was at the bottom of it? McDermott. He ordered a free kick that time. Gets it across to Hart. Who boots it long, well inside the attacking 50. Jamison going back on Grant. Ingus in the opportunity, a natural left footer. Couldn't angle it far enough, and it goes out of bounds in the left full forward pocket. So Ingerson back to the forward line, and Maynard lining up again on Stuart Lowe. It's in half back. Well, the Crows knitting goals, and plenty of them in this term. They're aided by the Breers, which did bick around in the first quarter. Up they go. Close to the boundary line, McGuinness can't keep it in. It will be thrown in. Vitovic and Ingerson. Vitovic doing it with the right hand. Newport at the bottom tries to tunnel ball it out. McGuinness close to the boundary line once again. Bickley over the line. So a quiet opening for this second half. A vital quarter, however, for the Crows. If they to get back into this game, they want quick goals. Vitovic gets a kick of sorts towards Fletcher. I'm sure by his statistics, he's had a very good game. McGuinness off to Clue. Heads goalwards. Just pulling it slightly. One behind the result. Rose Bench. One of the more experienced players on there at the moment is Daryl Hart. This is Russell Morris. Lovely looking kick to the outer side. Hodges paddling the ball along in front. Finds Clue. Three kicks being picked out of that. It's going to go the way of the Crows. We'll go back to Scott Hodges. Interesting, McDermott's having a lot to say to the umpires. Obviously, he's the appointed team spokesman. Hodges coming up for only his second kick. Penetrating towards the forward line. Four fly or oh, bursting his way through as Sanderson should and does goal. His second, he kicked one in the first quarter, and that's the start the Crows wanted. Bernie, 10-3, plays 6-7. Yes, they sure did, Sandy. They badly needed that, and some inspirational play there by uh, the young fellow, Brenton Sanderson, only 18 years of age. And just opened up for him, didn't it? Like uh, the parting of the waves, away he went. And the St Kilda defenders really looked as if they just got out of his way, but uh, good play by the young fellow to kick that goal on his left boot. 11 possessions for Sanderson, one of their better players. And the Crows now have kicked three of the last 13 goals in this game. Very congested in there. Harvey going nowhere. Newport could have been pushed in the back. Pekin. Lip tack. Hand passes back into the congestion. Sanderson. Newport a hurried kick. It ricochets back to McGuinness though. McGuinness forward of the centre. Boots down towards the pocket. Awkward one for Ingerson. He leads back in the race, Ingerson. He's working hard. Could have almost been held without it. Morris has got it. Measures the hand pass away to Burke. He's in trouble. Winmar has kicked three goals. Claimed from behind by Bickley. Jarred free. McGuinness's kick is blanketed. Picked up by Devonport. Back towards the outer side and Fletcher. Clever hand pass. Bowie hugs the boundary line. Both running and with the kick. Maynard should be too nimble here. And is. He's at left half back. He kicks it back towards the wing. Jarman. No one near him. Unloads for a long bomb. Ingerson. 
Got his hands to it, couldn't hang on. Liptak running away from his own goal to Kluge. Now he's beset upon. Allen, well done. Newport, Morris assisting. Back towards Newport. Good pressure by the Crows. This is Liptak, about 60 metres out from goal. Schwert. Well, this is a better start by Adelaide. They're showing a bit of spirit here at the start of this third quarter. They started the game well to this end. Schwartz kick falls in short. Ingerson again almost. Jamison. Shanahan tries to slap it out. Harvey's got it. Aided by a very good shepherd. And this man gave the shepherd and recovered the hand pass. Pekin away to Grant, who kicks through midfield. McDermott. Strange blemish, but he recovers. Very high kick. Ingerson will go again. McGinney got his hands to it. Liptak. McGinnis. Almost holding the ball. That's the decision. Advantage is paid. Devonport comes away. That's it across to Hart. He's on half back. Centering short kick finds Peter. Back to Devonport. McDermott's mucked that one up for them. This was a good hand pass from Timmy Peter because. Uh, McDermott was sweating on Devonport, and as soon as he took possession of it, De uh, McDermott was there to apply that tackle. Crows certainly lifting at the start of this second half. Burke through the arms of Lee initially. He was held, but he didn't have it. Oh, that's a soft free kick, that one. He threw his arms up in the air, Scott Lee, and that's what the umpire noticed. He's on centre wing. coming out once again. Devonport may have infringed. In fact, the umpire said he has. So Liptak will go back and have a shot inside 50. All of a sudden, Sandy, the free kick starting to swing around. They do seem to weaven up. What they? are you suggesting, Bernie? I'm not suggesting anything. I just think the free kicks do seem to weaven up by the end of the match. Liptak for his first. An important kick for the Crows, and he's done it. So they're coming back. Two quick goals to start this second half. Saints lead 10-3 to the Crows 7-7. Yes, it's uh, well done by the uh, Adelaide Crows too. They're certainly doing all the attacking. Here's the free kick again in replay. And he was held by Devonport, no doubt about that. He was dragged off the ball, the free kick was there. And Devonport who started the game on the bench, now playing in the back line for St Kilda. 13 possessions to Liptak, certainly the best forward for the Crows this afternoon. Hart going nowhere, McGuinness at the base of all of that too. And you've got a whistle. Very tough game now, certainly it's lifted in tempo since the halftime break. Just over 19 minutes till three-quarter time. 10-3, 7-7. Crows aided by the breeze. Interference there against Vitovic, and he'll take the free. Well, 50-50, that's Andy. Both players jumping early, jumping into each other. Wittebeck, going towards half forward, low, paid the mark. No interference at the umpire who was in perfect position. Not going to talk to me, are you? There's <laughs> <laughs> low, going towards full forward, lock it! Well, the story of the game, I think, captured right there. Low taking the first mark, lock it the second, and they've gone directly at goal. That's the first mark there. Stewie Lowe, I think he eyes only for the ball there. And Tony Lockett, again, just the big man, able to nudge Smart out of the contest. Lockett has kicked three. Despite his performance today, Jason Dunstall is skipping away on the goal-kicking ladder. So Lockett at his fourth. Gets it. It's Tony Lockett, just too tall on that occasion. Not doing as much leading as we've seen in uh, previous seasons. There's the two big men combining Stewie Lowe there, taking an excellent mark. He's taken seven marks for the game, Stewie Lowe. And combining with Lockett, not on the lead, but Tony Lockett so big and so strong, and with his bulk, he's able to keep Smart out of the contest. Twenty points, the margin. Favouring the Saints. Rent with a mighty fist down the half forward. Whitmar gives chase. Flashes across that half back line towards Devonport. Back to Whitmar again. And he probably puts it out of bounds on the floor.
Jonathan Ross walking up on the sidelines. You can see his picture there. As Lee is about to take the kick. He's still outside 50 and wants something on offer. Wants the tallest man, Wren. We've got a hand to him. Devon Port at the back. We'll have another go. He runs into Wren. McGuinness is in there as well, battling for the Crows. Out it comes to Pekin, who can go to win. He's done it again. Well, that's a replay, wasn't it? It's getting closer. Identical. <laughs> Could be third time lucky in a minute. We'll have to wait and see. Filthy. High to half board. Morris over the back. Not attempting to spoil. He was trying to mark. Morris again. Looking for the free kick for a push as Rent comes off the ground. And Ross goes on for the Crows. Strange timing to take the Ruckman off the 10 minute mark. He was starting to do well. Thumped that one from the centre square right up to centre half forward. And now he's off the ground onto the bench. It's at half forward. Again, McDermott and McGuinness, the two inspirers for the Crows, and they're trying to get the ball out. Fletcher does, but the whistle and sound. Newport will go back and take the kick from half back. Stephen Newport. Towards centre wing, Brett Bowie is there. Thought momentarily about the hand pass to Fletcher, but Jarman had him coming. So he goes to half forward, wanting low. Kick it, waits in front. Now down to Lockett and Smart. Lockett in front. And the steam train coming down here and slowly gets speed. He's got plenty of space in the forward line on this occasion. Tony Lockett getting out on, in front of uh, Smart. It doesn't matter whether he's in front or behind. He's marking the spot. And he's back concentrating on that spot. That's where he'll be trying to kick the ball from. His kicking hasn't been all that good this year. There's some easy shots, shots that you would normally expect him to kick. Directly in front. 40 metres out. It's going to be close, that. Another behind. That's what a couple today, Bernie. He's just kicked four goals too, Tony Lockett. But there again, a shot that you would expect him to kick. You would have seen him uh, to tense up more than he has in past seasons. Scott Lee. Kicks it very wide. They get smart to run out here. He's in front over the ball. Held without it, says the umpire. Giorgio defending. And Giorgio has been quite impressive today. So Tony Lockett, 26 goals in 10 and a half quarters against the Adelaide Crows. A nervous twitch going from Graham Corns just by mentioning the name, I'm sure. Here's Allen in trouble. Sanderson, and Allen in particular, crashing into his Morris. Well played. What a part for Allen. Now it's Clute pushing the backs as the umpire, and they'll come back to Allen. 11 4 7 7. He's played very well, Tim Allen, too. Oh, and Scott player. Hodges, he's kept him out of the game. It's going to be a very good one. Towards half forward, off hands, kick it, roving the pack, claimed. Fletcher, slung. Ralph Smith couldn't control it. Jarman stood his ground well. The Crows desperate to get the next goal. They must kick it. Lee goes in short. Clute missed the mark. Pekin, desperation. Put it across to Allen. Oops, Giorgio. Allen was taken late, and the umpire decides there was no advantage in that. And he's been a bit happy behind play here. And he's counted actually two hand passes down the ground the umpire. I'm not sure you can do that. Winmar goes in short. And Lockett has taken the mark yet again. Look, kick it. He's good. At least that late in this quarter is showing a lot more spirit. Even if it uh, has been costly on a couple of occasions. It's free kicks paid after the ball is left the vicinity. Remarkable record this man has against the Crows there. Lockett kicks and kicks crawling. Five goals to Tony Lockett. 12 4 play 7 7. Hey, not a bad average, is it, Dennis? 27 goals he's kicked against the Adelaide Crows in three games. This third game, of course, is not yet completed, but averaging nine goals a match. What would they consider a success? Hold him to seven or eight. I suppose so, if you uh, consider averaging nine, and the game's not, uh, not over yet by a long stretch. We're only 12 minutes into the third quarter. The margin now is out to 27 points. So we go back to the centre. Ross having a run on the ball for the Crows, replacing Oren. Bowie can't 
pick it up. Whitmer pushes it along in front and straight to Wiedemann. Almost caught one in the back. But uh, the advantage is going to be paid. Wiedemann was the player who was infringed. Bickley, a high floating kick over the centre. Hodges not trying to mark, trying to tap on. Look, tap, caught. Ball is held. Somehow Nathan Burke gets clear. Forward go the Saints again. Ralph Smith goes to ground, but he gives it to the running Harvey. Gets clear to kick it. 30 metres out. Kick it, shoots a goal. And misses. Another opportunity going back in. Certainly was. A great build up by St. Kuna. Terrific run there, supplied by Robert Harvey. When uh, Ralph Smith was in some sort of trouble. Rogers going back to full forward now. It's a real dilemma as far as Graham Kearns is concerned to show faith in Hodges or not. Hodges, such a good player last weekend. Not so good today. The man has kicked 150 goals. They have persisted with him. He just hasn't been able to find the consistency as Shanahan takes a fine mark on the other side of the ground. Puts Pekin under a spot of pressure. They get the free kick, though, Sandy. Very fortunate, very fortunate because Tim Beacon uh, could have been in a lot of strife there. A dangerous kick across the ground to Devonport. Half forward, Lowe is going to have to make a lot of ground very quickly. He can't. Maynard gets it away. Hart's kick towards the wing. And over. Eight points the margin. Ingerson doing the ruck work. Pekin overruns it. Harvey does the shepherding for him. Pekin uh, gets a boot to ball. It goes over on the floor. So it'll be Jarman who will bring it back into play. He passes to his teammate in Brenton Sands. Sanderson, centering kick. Vitovic should mark this. He bounces off his hands. Clue got it to Liptak. McGuinness. Filky now, 25 metres out, Brantley Filky, and I think he's missed, he has. Straight it to the right. It's two behinds to Filky, both. Shots that he may have been able to kick, I feel, Sandy. Just a little bit of, uh, I think, panic setting in. When he may have thought that there was pressure being applied when there wasn't. Came back to football last weekend after a long layoff. There's Bowie. In the back pocket. 12, 5, 7, 8. Bowie, short passes. And Tim Pekin's got it. Still inside the defensive 50. Pekin across the ground. Vitovic set a task here. It comes behind the Giorgio. Giorgio forward at half back. Boots towards half forward. Back goes Maynard. Low gets it on the ground. Maynard over the ball. He's pushed in the back. Advantage will not be paid. It will come back. Maynard to take the kick. And a good kick coming in for low that one it favored the defender mcdermott trying his heart out kicks towards half forward grant was up couldn't rake it in clued from 35 meters out bacon goal it's home john clue gets his first and the eighth is on the board for the crows who keep on coming they're not out of this they're eight eight and st kilda 12-5 no, by, uh, by no means out of this match, McDermott finding space in the centre of the ground. I'm just still not able to get that touch, Grant, not able to take that mark. But Johnny Klug, he spent a couple of spells on the bench. He hasn't been performing all that well, hasn't had a lot of possessions, but a good kick for goal on the left boot. Seventy-seven plays fifty-six. The Crows want the next cup. No, he bounces off. Filky through without the football. Harvey trying to surge it forward slowly, but it's Lee who gets a kick. Whitmarsh shooting the set. He overruns it. Shanahan lost it and applied a tackle that was too high. The advantage is paid. Filky, no, it will go back. At the moment, Grant Filky was uh, heading for home. Matthew Liptak, who goal earlier in the quarter, is going to take the kick. Could be a job for another commentator in the crowd there, Sandy, by the sound of that chap. 
He won't last long, I don't think. Uh, I think he'd probably like an RDO tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thompson's to back together. The full forward. No one at home, no one. Bit of it. Not good enough. There has to be a contest. He finds Fletcher, who's been a winner today. He's done very well, Adrian Fletcher. Russell Morris on centre wing, out of sight of the ground. To Newport. Saints at the moment finding their mark. Oh, it was an extraordinary performance by Maynard. Extraordinary, that's about it, Sandy. Amazing. His frustration. Lockett and Smart. And Smart went to early. And Lockett stood there. Can't be tough. Well, he's tried everything today. Smart has tried getting the run. He's tried body to body. Tried playing in front, playing behind. And yet Lockett still kicked five, five goals coming up to his sixth here. And nothing's been successful there. He had the run on the jump, couldn't time his jump at the uh, right time. So Lockett for number six and the third this quarter. And he's pushed that across the face, right across the face. 5 3, Bernie. It was 5 3, two goals, two in this quarter. Well, I think Smart needs to dig a few holes down there and cover them with leaves and matting. Tony falls in one. 12 6 8 8. As Lee goes in short, this is Bickley. Goes over the top. McDermott in the three centre half back position. Kicks it through centre towards half forward. All the Saints there. Bit slow to go though. Eventually Ralph Smith does. And what a Shanahan it was. And got it across towards Devonport. And it's out of bounds now. And the numbers there, the Saints, but all of them rather reluctant to go at the ball. Liptak giving the contest, and he's been a hard trier on the forward line for Adelaide. And they've been too few at that end of the ground so far. Burke, Devonport, hard against the boundary line, pulls it back. McGuinness goes back on Newport and kept his concentration well. Pekin, a gritty team, St Kilda, and they've met every challenge today. And their class on the forward line is low again to Winmar. Not a great deal of advantage there. Winmar's kicking hasn't been all that flash, and that's no exception. It hung in the air for a long time. Hart came at the ball and marked it. Jarman goes in short. McDermott's now in trouble. Goes back to Jarman, who tried to go off the ground. And there'll be a ball up on the outer side. McDermott, 21 possessions. Jarman, 13 for the afternoon. Jarman not happy with himself. He put his uh, hand... Head in his hands there, he just wasn't happy with that short option, still shaking his head. He knows he did the wrong thing. Just over seven minutes remaining in this third quarter. Vidovic to kick it. Smart leads lock low. Gives him a hand. Bowie runs into trouble. Off to low at the back of the pack once again, but the ball spills free, goes over the line. So another throw. In the Saints' right forward pocket. Ross at the back, tries to pluck it out of there. It was tackled too high, but did duck his head. The umpire lets play go on. Kick it. High around his body. Lock it and smart. Lock it, one grab. But then punched over the line. Low and Ross. A birthday present. Oh, yes, I'd like another look at that one if we could, if it's possible. But uh, Stewie Lowe really just threw himself forward. Let's have a look at this in replay. Here you are, Bernie. Yeah, Stewie just throwing himself forward. And the umpire just falling in for that one. So thank you very much. Stuart Lowe just has the one goal today that was kicked in the first quarter. He has the chance to stretch this lead once again. 30 metres out. Drop punt. He's done what Tony Lockett's done. Just drifting it across the post. And one behind. I think if umpires were consistent with that last decision, Bob Johnson would have kicked, what, a thousand goals in the 50s and 60s? <laughs> <laughs> Lee's having his problems.
full too with Celtic against Lloyd. <laughs> Free kick to Tony Lockett. Well, they love it. That's worth a replay too, I think. They love him. He's uh, played on, but he's going to have to come back. Uh, don't try to run off big Tony. I thought that's a weakness in Tony's game. Not able to chase the defenders. Let's have a look at the replay. There's Scott Lee in front. Oh, oh gee, gee, gee. I'll give a free gee. kick there. I mean, we're talking goals there, too. I mean, that is a terrible decision by the boundary umpire. Terrible decision. So lock it for number six. He runs round. Oh, he's threaded a magical goal. A little sad for the crowds. Well, they can't trust any of them, can you, Sandy? But they can't trust any of them. Umpires can't, umpires can't guess on these sorts of things, though. I mean, you if you can't. don't see it, you can't play it. You can't even trust the boundary umpires now. <laughs> Tony Lockett. Look at that. Uh, it's a great kick for goal. He really is much more relaxed having that shot. But, uh, gee, that should never have been played the free. Let's say a terrific kick, though, by Lockett. Klug out of the middle. Long down towards full forward. Up in front was Hodges. Grant punches it away, almost worth a kick. Peekin back to Grant. Inside his own defensive 50, floats it out of bounds on the full. He's back in form. And Lee will take the result in three. Scott Lee, forward of the wing, a centering kick. Vitovic was up. It falls to Newport. He measures the hand pass well. Here's Grant. It's slow to react there, Grant. Now Klug's got it. Hard against the boundary line. John Klug, and that is a magnificent attempt. He's just missed. Eight, nine to 13, 70. In fact, it was Schwert who took the kick down there from right on the boundary line. And what a good effort it was. Again, I thought that was a dangerous hand pass from Russell uh, Morris in defence. It would have been much safer to go for the, uh, the hurry kick. Or the defensive kick out to that outer wing. Morris, a long one. Schwartz in front, fisted away by Allen, and it will be thrown in. Under four minutes remaining in the third quarter. Klug and Vitovic, the latter trying to do the work from behind. Do battle again to Jarman from a standing start. He pumps it long and low into the left forward pocket region. Oh, can't get back in time, it's over the line, but the Crows have it in their attacking zone. Quick goals is what they want after those uh, couple that could have been considered somewhat charitable to the Saints. Newport. Poor kick, Ross. Between centre and half forward. Goes back in towards Ingerson who flies from behind, but he can't take the mark. And again, the secure defence just tidying up nicely. Devonport, very busy in defence. Giorgio's had a very good debut. Grant, realising he was in danger, tried to tap it on. And it finishes with Beckley. And Lip Tape takes the mark inside 50. Eighth kick coming up. Matthew Lip Tape. Pushing it across the face. In towards the square it goes. It's hammered down. McGuinness will be first to it on his hammer is Newport. But McGuinness is quick. Look at that. Swings round and puts through a behind. McGuinness kicked two goals in a blazing first quarter start. Since then, hasn't been able to add to that tally. Well, he's been really uh, fairly quiet, Tony McGuinness. Ten kicks and three hand passes. And he's Newport, his standards. Newport, who's done the job on him, and has played very well with nine and seven. And he's, his tackle has had more possessions. Schwer. Marks uncontested from Russell Morris's kick back into play. Shanahan down to Giorgio is effective. Off to Morris. 
Hits to the vacant area on the centre wing. Kicker applies the pressure to Filthy. And it's over. Wiedemann also very quiet today. Only one kick and two hand passes. McDermott claimed and there was Wiedemann. Fletcher, Harvey, kick it. Another throw in in front of the somewhat boisterous crowd here at Moorabbin. Jarman will see this one over there. Just over 40 seconds remaining in this third term then. Bit of back brilliantly to Devonport. Howard's full forward and lock it! He's kicked six. Well, these conditions really are ideal right for a full forward. Any forward, a marking player. It's a still day, no sun to get in the player's eyes. Tony Lockett like really having a picnic in this third quarter. Vitebeck superb at the boundary throw-in. What a decisive ruck knock that was to hook it back to Devonport. Lockett at number seven. It's off to the right, but it's good, I think. Yes. Seven goals to Lockett. Three-quarter time. The siren has sounded. So St Kilda, 14-7. Lead the Crows, 8-10. Start this final term. It's the Saints by 33 points. Schwartz got the run of it. In trouble immediately. Bickley got an awkward bounce. Harvey's over the ball. Bickley did very well. McDermott yet another possession towards half forward. Devonport swings it out wide. Beacon meters in the clear. Where are the big men? He pulls it back towards centre half forward. Lows the target. Well, they are unstoppable as far as the Adelaide Crows are concerned. Nine marks to Huey Lowe. Lowe from just outside the 50. They cannot man up with Lockett and Lowe. Lockett got it on the ground and interfered with the man in front. That's Wren. Now, it can work when Wren has the time to get back. That hasn't been all that often this afternoon as Hart boots it to the outer side on his knees. Sanderson liked his game today. This is McGuinness. Chips it out wide towards the wing. Devonport came at the ball with skill. Newport... Precise. Morris forward at the wing. Unloads yet another long one. Winmar drifting back. Fisted away by Wren. Bickley off balance. Maynard. Oops. Well, should have kicked it. Jarman finishes up with it. Goes towards half forward. Hart's on the ground there now, but he's clearly outmarked by Shanahan. Shanahan across the centre he goes. Looking for him finding Tim Peake. Fletcher in the middle, off to the running Harvey, who'll pump it long in towards full forward. Low is there. Mark number 10. It's almost to his average, averaging 11 marks a game, Stewie Lowe. In front of Tony Lockett and Nigel Smart. His big arms and hands go up. And a tremendous player again today, Stewie Lowe. Probably the early favourite for the Brown line. First quarter. Thirty meters out, almost directly. Now he has a second. Saints move on. 15, 7, 97. Adelaide are at 10, 58. Uh, very hard to stop those two picks and quarter forward. Stewie Lowe starting off virtually as a second full forward as they're lining up at the centre bounce. Stewie Lowe and Tony Lockett both up there in the square. The rest of the forward line has been left wide open for the running players. If they do get the ball out quickly, the running players can run onto that space around centre half forward and around the flanks. And uh, Stewie Lowe and Tony Lockett virtually starting off on the edge of the 10 metre square. 
15 7 away 10 as the time remaining and if Adelaide don't get the next goal and pretty quickly I'd venture to say they're gone in this game as Devonport finds Bowie in open space to the run of Winmar sweeping hand pass to accommodate Coughlin he turns lines up the goal and decides to go in short to rock it very unselfish very unselfish there by Frankie Coughlin he was about to be run down and just changed his kick a beautiful pass to the lead of Tony Lockett. There it is, a long sweeping hand pass from uh, Nicky Winmar. Frankie Coughlin, I don't think he ever intended going for goal. Just looking for the lead of Tony Lockett. And Lockett, just 20 metres out from goal, aiming at his eighth. I think it's OK. Eight goals to Lockett, and kill to get their 16. 16 7 the Saints, Adelaide 18. There's got Tony Lockett. And he's been unstoppable at full forward. The running players have been good. Frank Coughlin started on the bench. And since he's been on the ground, he's had plenty of touches. And Tony Lockett has been well on top of Nigel Smart. Also, Stewie Lowe has played another great game at centre half forward. Tony Lockett has half of St Kilda's goals. He's kicked eight. He's looking for double figures again against the Crows. Said to bounce, Wren uncontested, Schwert a high kick. Morris trying to spoil Ingerson, but is unable to. He marks just forward of seven. An awkward looking left foot kick towards Hodges. Got two hands to it. Hart scouting the pack, boots it towards goal, and it's a very cruel bounce. It almost turned around. Fletcher. Burt. Jarman in over the top asking the question and getting a reply in the affirmative. That's the player over the top of the ball. The umpire is still aware of that free kick. Allen spoils well. And some holding on going on. It's going against. Adelaide Crows going to be taken by Allen in the back pocket. He comes across the ground. Schwert comes back on Bowie. Played by Schwert, but numbers tell the story. Harvey. Held by Sanderson, but got it to Pekin. This is Bowie. Forward at half back towards half forward. Winmar juggled attempt at the mark. He was pushed in the back surely. And we'll get the free kick. Nicky Winmar forward of the wing. And now it's heart in the mouth time again for all supporters of the Crows. Wren was up. Coblin knocks at Goldwood. Back goes Wiedemann. Stops quickly. Lee, very short. Wren's got it. Up towards left half back. Wren. Boots it out wide. Good mark by Tim Peacock. Yeah, it's not a good kick though from Wren. Bit of it. To Morris. Who goes long. Low is going back. From behind there was Lockett. He finds the ball on the ground this time. Smothered off the boot well by Smart. It comes to Newport. And misses by... Quite a margin, so it goes for a minor score. So the Saints increase their lead. Steve Newport, who played over 100 games, I think it was 101 with Melbourne. Just over 19 and a half minutes remaining till the end of this game, but I think as a competition, it's almost over now. Just a question before we go to Sandy, and that is, Bernie, we saw them play against the Bears last week, Adelaide. Paul Patterson, I thought, was stiff to go out of this team, and his strength in defence may have been handy, although how are you to know against players like Low and Locker? Yeah, it's a very difficult one, that one with Smart, who had a great season last year. He probably would have been smart if he had a, another week's rest, wouldn't he? Because coming up against Tony Lockett was an awesome task. Wiedemann from the back pocket, looking for Wren, but with him is Vitovic. Philke was ripped off the ball when he didn't have it. Advantage paid to McDermott on the jump. Attack again towards uh, Lockett. He heads towards the centre. Coglin giving away plenty of height. Giorgio, great skills. Coglin, Newport, they may find Lockett. Now he goes over the top and heads for home with another one. Steve Newport gets his first. The Saints march on their very way 17 8 to 8 10. All coming from a very good hand pass from the new player, John Giorgio. 
Here it is again in replay. Giorgio is about to be tackled. Just got it away. New Frankie Coughlin was there. Coughlin also, the run of Newport, who's been very good. Steve Newport with 19 possessions has been well on top of Tony McGuinness, who's had 14. The Saints by 52 points. But Giorgio again gets it out magnificently to Bowie. Watch Lockett and finds him. No, Pion is the call. Smart tackle. Wiedemann in the back pocket is beautifully claimed by Kicker as Lockett comes in over the top and is picked. Great tackle by Kicker. Yes, great tackle. He's been good today, actually, Dale Kicker. Not a lot of positions, but he's worked very hard. Took the mark of the day, a magnificent mark in that first quarter. Here it is, Wiedemann, who's uh, has had a bit of a dirty day there. <laughs> you could see Tony Lockett coming in on top of him. <laughs> One of the reasons Kickett got that free was that Wiedemann became very conscious of Lockett in the last split second, didn't he? See what he can do. He's kicked another one. Quick goals to the Saints now as Dale Kickett gets his first. St Kilda lead by nine on ten goals. 18-8 plays 8-10. Yeah, well on top. This last quarter, they've just been uh, continuing on their good form since the 20-minute mark of that first quarter. <laughs> There's Tony Lockett burying Wayne Wiedemann. And Dale kick it. And, uh, good to see the forwards working hard to keep the ball in that forward line. Well, the Saints are putting on a clinic at Moorabbin. It's 18-8 to 8-10. They're playing some vintage stuff now, just getting it out of the centre. And it's excitement plus on their forward line as we go again. Bowie. High kick. Low. Out in front, Stewie Lowe. Still he goes to kick it. They've got some talent on the forward line. Bowie in trouble. Across it comes to Fletcher. He's had over 20 possessions, Fletcher. He pulls it back. Wide of the mark this time. Out of bounds on the full in the right full forward pocket. Anti-climax. Was, wasn't it? Still, it hasn't left the area. Smart. Out wide. Windmark. Windmark. Kick it. Low. Lock it. Bit on the forward line. Winmar unloads. Kick it in front. Fletcher leaves it for Lockett. No pressure. I think he's kicked another one. Yes! That's nine for Tony Lockett. 19-8 to 8-10. It's a heartbreaker for the Crows. It's a 64-point advantage now to Adelaide, uh, to St Kilda, I should say. Adelaide really would have nightmares when they're fronting up to St Kilda. Tony Lockett a little bit lucky there because the St Kilda player stayed down and waited for the other players to really do the defending, and it's good to him. I wonder who Brown pulled this call. Michael Taylor with him. Saints fans delirious. Back to the middle again. Wren wins it. Grant loses it. Burke picks it up. Goes down towards half forward. A couple of crows flew. No Saints. And a bounce to take place in St Kilda's attacking zone once again. Question now is can Tony Lockett again get double figures? Certainly plenty of time. Hart. We spent little time on the ground. It's towards the middle where everyone gets a cruel bounce. But eventually it does come out towards Filkey. He's claimed. Windmark pumps at Gilda back to half forward. Kick it. Wiedemann low at the back. Kick it at the bottom. McDermott. And eventually the Crows out of trouble through Hart. To the outer side. Nathan Burke a chance to run here. Beautifully picks it up. Long hand pass to Fletcher, another one to Morris. Don't tell me he's going to have a shot. From 48 metres, well, he's going long into goal. It bounces over the top for one ball. As the crowd rises and falls with that ball. 19-9 plays 8-10. Most exciting has been all day in many respects. As Smart goes in short, Lee's got it. Close to the boundary line. McDermott. It's 27th possession. It takes a while to get the kick off. Down towards half forward. Jarman knocked away down there by Giorgio. Taken by Sanderson. Two very promising young players. And that's the difference at one end to the other. Allen, who's been a star, comes away from Hodges. Bickley dropped the mark. Bit of it going nowhere. Maynard 
through he comes and boots it down towards half forward. On again. Towards half forward and kick it this time. Wiedemann should have punched away. Fletcher. Ooh. Wiedemann collides with him. The ball comes out the back, holding the ball, says the umpire. That's pretty tough. He did Very duck. tough. And initially, he did duck as Ren is taken from the ground again to be replaced by Jonathan Ross. But uh, at first instance, uh, Fletcher did duck the head. Wiedemann got it to McDermott, who booted to half forward. Jarman, hurried kick. Hodges and Allen go back. Allen's been the master all day in this confrontation. Hodges tried to keep it in. Comes off Morris and goes out of bounds. Crows have not added to their three-quarter time score. The Saints have booted five goals. Fielke's on the 50-meter line. Gives it away to Jamison. Oh, that's a dreadful trouble, but he was legged. So he'll get another shot just outside 50. Yeah, it's well held up there by David Brown. He's probably saved 10 metres. He's going to go short. Hodges goes into the pocket. Hasn't really been Scotty Hodges' day. Great job done by Allen. Oh, shocking kick by Russell, Russell Morris. Very fortunate to stay in Sandy, that kick. Very fortunate. Very fortunate. Extremely fortunate then, Bernard. Certainly was very fortunate. Extremely. <laughs> yes, anyway. Throw in. Fletcher at the bottom to Harvey off the bat. That pedals a little to Devonport. Wants to uh, take on Jarman. Eventually gets a kick towards centre wing. Wiedemann gets a kick despite the pressure applied by Stuart Lyle. Devonport, an effective spoil. Pekin can't get an effective kick. Jarman can, it's high. Morris and Liptak. Almost handed to Liptak. Newport. Flame. Vidovic. Oh, dash! By Lazar Vidovic. The kick straight to McDermott. Off to Jarman. Well, it's like battling up against a brick wall, this um, throw attack, trying to get through this killer defence. Tony McGuinness. Shot now at getting a little further into attack. He goes along up towards the left forward pocket. Morris chasing with Ingerson. Pekin. Bowie. Away they go. The running half. Chips towards Kicket. With him is Wiedemann. Kicket's only got to get clear and he'll be away. Can't get clear. Got a couple on there in the head there. Like he, did. he just he tried. Did. To, he tried to take on too many though. Know, he caused a lot of his own problems. Maynard, Jamison, kick it is still down behind play. Hodges can't pick it up on the half volley. Look, Tack can gets it off to Jarman. Will have a snap. But beautifully smothered by Shanahan. Well played. With him is Allen. Now Fletcher, and he bounces his way out of defence. The Saints out of trouble once again. Off hands on the outer side. Well, it's over the ball, and the umpire says he was holding that. Well, would have been hard pressed to get it out. There's Kicker, he's on his feet, that's a good sign. I think it might have been a knee that caused a the problem there in the end with uh, Kicker. There he goes to the ground. The player comes in to yeah. apply the tackle. You could see Bickley's left knee causing all the problems. I think Winmar confused him a bit in that situation too by running past him to Shepard. He he's a puncher. Up. He's yes. okay. Should be a wrestler with those quick recuperative powers. Takes another one. Winmar, meantime, takes the hand pass low. Couldn't hang on. Schwert to McGuinness. The desperation of the Saints has been terrific in this turn, despite their big lead. And they've been very disciplined, punching from behind on most occasions, smothering well, and now Grant gets a free kick because he wanted front position. Simple as that. I don't wish to patronise the Crows, but a few lessons to be learned here, and hopefully they will as Harvey goes in short. This is Devonport. Goes towards half forward. Well, good of it. Sneaking in behind the defence. And when you think of players sneaking in, who's not one that normally springs to mind? A bit of him to spot. There's Vitovic. Goes long, still chasing his first goal in the NFL football. 
It's not there. Another go. 19, 10 to 18. Just under 10 minutes remaining. Tony Locke looking for goal. Number 10 as the Crows prepare to make a change. There's Jamison coming off. Another very quiet day for Jamison. They really haven't had a winning forward. Jamison only four kicks for the day. And John Klug back on the ground. Could have won it, but it's McDermott who receives and takes it away. Back towards the centre. Pekin got a hand to it. Couldn't complete the mark. Morris tidy up in the middle towards Winmar. And he's smack in the centre. Goes to half forward. Fletcher takes the mark. Wants to go on with it to Newport. He's put him right under the hammer. McDermott paddling towards the boundary line. Bowie chasing. Pulls it back towards Clue. Courage shown by David Grant. Grant still going. Now Harvey. Loses it to Jarman. Wiedemann. To half forward. And Morris and Ingerson. What a bit of free kick to Russell Morris. Yes, he did that well, Russell Morris. He just held up Ingerson. Morris goes across the ground. Giorgio. Kicks towards half forward. Devonport. This is Allen. Allen going for distance and miscues as a result, but that says something about the mindset of these defenders. Smart was 20 metres in the clear. Even he can see the humour. And he punched it out of bounds. Showing a total lack of confidence there. I'm expecting Tony Lockett to be bearing down at any moment. Well, I suppose once those coals get you, you're always a bit wary. <laughs> Low flicks are behind the pack. Hart going nowhere. Wrestled to the ground by Fletcher. And there'll be a ball up. If you're trying to find good players for the Crows, I suppose McDermott, Liptak, Sanderson and Lee pick themselves. And after that, nothing much. 19-10 to 8-10. Eight, eight minutes remaining in the game. Hart to lip tack. McDermott again. How many is that? That's 32 possessions as he boots it around oh. the other side. Grant over the top. A couple of crows. <laughs> well, that just shows, doesn't it? Those two crows players there. A lack of talk. And confidence is at rock bottom at the moment. Maybe the coach said run in twos. Adelaide crows still the score for the quarter. Maybe a chance here. Look tack long towards Ingerson. It's not a good hand pass, however. Shanahan comes out. Body to body. Look tack again. Trying to find Ingerson again, but it's Devin Port who tidies up. They won't score in this segment either. It's Bowie. Fletcher. Back again he goes. Jarman's got to try and close the gap. He can't. Kicks it high. Here comes Lockett and Smart. Lockett got a hand to it. Smart may soccer off the ground. Now he gets chase. Smart still going. Back to Russell Morris. Pauses and kicks to the right half for flank. Stewart lows down there on his own. Fletcher's only got to get it to him. There's two of them going for it. Harvey, oh. lack of talk. Well, it was Stewie Lowe's job there to do the talking. Well, Harvey's the first man to outmark Lowe this afternoon. <laughs> He's inside 50. Tight angle. Goes short, fights Frankie Coleman. Oh, really, it has been a procession, hasn't it, since half time? Yes. Kilda yeah. doing it very easily now. Good performance by the Saints in the second half. The Crows were very quick out of the blocks at Moorabbin this afternoon, but after that initial opening, they shot away to a 20 point or so lead. It's been all Saints. Frankie Coughlin wants to celebrate his day, but he hits the post. Hit the goal in the second quarter, and this is 100th game. 19 11. Plays 8 10. Five and a half minutes for Tony Lockett to score his 10th goal. When they're bad, they can be very bad, the Crows. This is Wiedemann. He made the point last week, I think. Eight goalless quarters for the Crows last season. Only Carlton had more with nine. And they're headed for their second already this season, Adelaide. 
And it's not a stat you want to lead the league in or be close to the league lead in. As we have a bounce about 60 metres out from goal. There again, another untidy hand pass. Those hand passes really have to be spot on because St Kilda is so keen at the moment to uh, boost that percentage and running down all the Adelaide uh, poor disposals. Vedebeck able to go up uncontested and he thumps at 25 metres. And we said at the outset, the Crows have a very hard draw upcoming. So they'll need to regroup. Science not particularly good today. This is Kickett inside the 50. Very lively. It's been a valuable acquisition, Kickett, after that surprise selection against the West Coast Eagles. Widmar, a sweeping hand pass. He's done a couple of those. Hurried kick from Devonport is offline. Through it goes for a minor score. And so they increase their lead still further. St Kilda. Brian Mitchell. 19-12 to 8-10 as Hart goes in short. Wiedemann's got it. Still inside the defensive 50. Wiedemann penetrating kick towards the outer side wing, but it's all St Kilda. And they haven't stopped working. Grant, strong mark, lays it off to Burke, who finds kick it. He's got a roving commission on the forward line, and he's running a muck at the present time. Not a good kick, though. Wenmar in front. And I suppose without looking at the fall of the ball, you would have backed this and killed a player to mark it. And Winmar came down pretty hard. Well, she showed a lot of courage in Nicky Winmar in front of the pack. But to be able to take a chess mark like that, the defenders really... Well, they just... Uh, they've lost the plot at the moment, Adelaide. They're allowing St Kilda to do as they like. 19-12 plays 8-10. Tony Lockett has nine goals. And Winmar is kicking at his fourth and he gets it. Twelve, eight, ten. Really, St Kilda are proving to be the bogey side for Adelaide. Up on 31 points here last year. 51 point victory in Adelaide, and they're now over 70 points here with uh, just over three minutes remaining on the clock. But they've had so many good players, St Kilda. They've had all the answers. Key forwards have done well, and also the key defenders. The procession continues at Moorabbin. Vitovic hammers it down towards the half forward line. Bickley giving chase. Gets away from Winmar. Kicks up towards the half forward line and looked at. But it's Devonport who hammers it away from him. Hammers it away from danger. for Jarman cleverly over the top for Liptak and he kicks a goal for the Crows. Their first score for the quarter. And the St Kilda crowd lit. hanging out for that one. They really didn't want Adelaide to score in this last quarter. A few boos coming from the St Kilda. Well, it's a one-eyed crowd here. Not many Adelaide people coming over and watching this game. As we see that in replay, Liptak kicking Adelaide's only goal for the last quarter. And just over two minutes remaining on the clock. Well, the Crows kicked the first three goals of the afternoon, so they kicked six of the last 26, including the last one. Here's kick it. Terrific that Shepard by McDermott, though, on the wing. Nothing to gain, just a couple of minutes to go, and he really put his body on the line as Maynard goes over the top to Bickley. And while there's that sort of heart in the team, Adelaide can't be taken easily. Although the commitment that time wasn't that flash from one or two of their defenders. Coglin slaps it out. Lock it. <laughs> he certainly attracted a crowd. This is Filky in the back pocket across his body towards the outer side wing and Sanderson. A player of great promise, Sanderson. Leading from a mouse above the left eye there. McDermott again. 
Just keeps running. This is Klug to Ingerson. So the sting is out of the game now. 2012 plays 9 10. Ingerson has the ball on the outer side wing. The centering kick. Scott Hodges. There's a big roar at this ground. I'm not sure. By uh, Tim Allen, who's filled in admirably at fullback with Danny Frawley out of the side. Looking for his first goal of the day. Directly in front. And he's missed. He's missed. He's missed. He was terrific last week, wasn't he, Sam? What a difference a week makes. What a difference a year makes. He's a man who's got 150 goals in a season. And he's older now, of course. And that's his first goal for the day. Morris. He's going to be a good player, Allen. He's a good player. Tim Allen. Morning to half forward. Low has his name all over. Now Lockett's one out. Bowie could give this to him if he wants. Or have a shot. And I think the crowd would like to have seen him give it to him. That would have been a goal there, I think. Now Stewie Lowe also keeping up his uh, marking average with that mark he took there. Now has taken 77 for the season, averaging 11 marks. Well, the seconds remaining. But he's going to get his 10. Well, Scott Lee is Father Christmas. <laughs> he kicked it into Harvey, and Harvey kicked it straight back to Lockett. Well, you wouldn't have thought it possible. The siren's gone, so drama of plenty in its own way. Tony Lockett to kick at his 10th after the siren. <laughs> Lockett. It's good. So the printout on Tony Lockett where the Adelaide Crows is 12, 10 and 10. Remarkable as St Kilda completely roll over the top of the Adelaide Crows and win it big time. 21-13 to 9-11. Tony Lockett embroiled in controversy during the week at the Tribunal and then with some comments made late in the week He's done it best on the football field this afternoon. Lockett has 10. Stewie Lowe is standing by talking with Gerard Hewitt. Well, Stuart, uh, they got away to a good start, but in the end, a pretty easy win. I don't know about easy, Gerard, but uh, no, it was good to the, the boys to go on uh, for four quarters today. We uh, we start off pretty ordinary, but we really fought back well. Big Tony seems to have hit a bit of form after a pretty exciting week. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, you know, it, Nothing seems to get by without uh, Tony sort of uh, facing him in the paper or whatever, but uh, no, he, he did fantastic today. You must be proud of the way the club fought back after a bit of a disastrous loss last week. Yeah, it was very disappointing last week, but uh, no, the boys did really well today. We, we knew it was going to be tough, and uh, you know, we set about right from the start of the door. Well, you've been an excellent form yourself. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Gary.